Hello, 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 and welcome back, welcome back. First two episodes in this series, we did a little quick build, um, and actually, <laughs> it was rather quick, considering my habit for long videos. Um, we did this little stone and plaster house from Ultima Online, the classic houses, and we converted it into Minecraft. It was very small, very simple, it uh, it's just a little seven by seven and as we mentioned before you could do the nine by nine to get the detail around the door and this is what it looks like in vanilla and the only thing that we used that might be a little bit challenging to gather in survival if you are just beginning a game would be the clay and really that's just a matter of time because it's not hard to find especially if you know where there's a swamp biome but uh, clay is at the bottom of the river regardless it's just easier to find in the swamps so this is what we did now the next house we're gonna do is Okay, we did the stone and plaster, so let's do the field stone house. Okay, and that looks like cobblestone to me. And maybe we use dark oak for the other door, and that really looks... So I'm thinking, let's do... Uh, Let's do spruce this time and see how that looks. There's no, uh, there's no detail around the door this time. It's just solid. There's no corner details or anything. So this will be a really fast build. And this one, we will probably uh, do the same size, the 7x7, seven seven, so that we have the 5x5 five floor space on the inside except we're just going to do it with cobblestone and spruce so let's get our materials again we're going to use the stone bricks for the foundation we're going to use spruce this time for the floor and for the roof and ooh, I don't really like the spruce door but we're going to use it anyway and then for the steps again we're going to go with the cobblestone steps oh and I forgot And you don't have to use fence posts when you do your lighting, but I really don't like just slapping torches on the wall. It's kind of a pet peeve. Sometimes it actually fits the design, and sometimes that's just what you have to work with, and that's great. I mean, use what you have, and use what you like. If that's not a problem for you, then use it. For me, personally, I don't like it. So, one, two, three, four, five six okay let's go out six one two three four five six right that lines up with that one two three four five six and then this fence we're just going to share the fence with the neighbor for now one two three four five that's on six okay so one two three four five six seven two three four five six seven two three four five six seven let's see if i can do basic math two three four five six and that makes seven 
So if I did that right, we should have five by five on the inside. Three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Yes, what do you know? This is going to be a really fast build. Oh, I forgot cobblestone. Hello. Okay, so we're going to make it go up one, two, three, four, and then one more for the ceiling. Three, four. And I was just saying in the last episode about how you don't have to just build everything out of regular cobblestone, even if you are new to Minecraft, even if you are in a new world, cobblestone can be smelted into stone and there are so many varieties there that you can go with, varieties in texture that uh, you are not as limited as what you may think. But the house that we are copying right now is a fieldstone house, which to me looks like cobblestone. So that's what we're doing. Okay. We have our windows. And this should be a really fast build because it's a small house and the materials are simple. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and do our front steps. Mm, I guess that's not horrible. I'm really not a big fan of the spruce doors, but they really don't look that bad on certain things. All right, we're gonna do the spruce up here. And these houses will get bigger and more complicated as we go. So don't just think, oh my gosh, all she can do are these little bitty houses. are starting with the small and working up to the large but UO offers several of the small houses so we're going to do them together like a little neighborhood oh stop that I did get, I am better at flying than I used to be, but I really don't use the strafe thing very much, so it throws me off kilter. But I'm trying to learn to do that so that I'm not swinging my camera all over the place all the time. Because that can get nauseating.
Uh, I'm going too far. Maybe not. about these small houses they're an easy build and they're quick even if you had to use scaffolding if you were doing this in survival mode this would still be a relatively quick build okay and we are going to use slabs spruce slabs across the top that is the easiest type of roof to do <laughs> I really hate doing roofs and we're gonna go ahead and tuck these stairs underneath like we did the other one because it does give it some nice detail and give it a better look I think stop that all right Get the back These first few houses are going to be primarily the same size. It's basically just going to be different building materials. That's going to be the difference right there. And if you are in survival mode and uh, you want to use light gray uh, glass pane any white flower you can stain a white flower and uh, it will you can use you make regular glass and you stain the regular glass blocks and I put that in the wrong place you stain the regular glass blocks with the with a daisy or and uh, uh, blew it any white flower it'll make gray dye and um, it'll make the gray dye and then you can make it into glass panes and if you work with glass panes instead of glass blocks Especially if you're just doing a single wall and not a double wall. It has a more detailed look because it sits in a little bit. And your glass will go a lot farther. Six blocks of glass will make 16 panes, I do believe. That is the conversion. Okay. Um, since this was such a fast build... I think we're going to go ahead and hmm. Let's go ahead and use the slabs this time. In case you want to, uh, in case you want to bring your storage chest all the way up, and don't forget if you are in combat mode to put lighting in your ceiling so you don't have mobs spawning up there. Not only do you not want the mobs to spawn and blow your house up like creepers, but it's also a little creepy 
to be the only one on your server or in your house and hear footsteps <laughs> above your head. It's like, oh my god, my house is haunted. No, it's not haunted. Well, I don't know. If it's a zombie, I guess it could be. Alright, so... We're going to dry. We'll go ahead and put the uh, lighting out here. On the front and the back. And this is more for Minecraft safety reasons than anything because your light level does affect the mob spawn. Okay, so in here, let's try to do this one a little bit different. Hmm, not a whole lot of space to work with. Let's uh, do something that, uh, yeah, let's center. Want to. This is an easy light. Oh, I'm in vanilla. And uh, if, you're, if you use the Smooth Chocolate Texture Pack, which I love and have used a lot, they call the uh, crafting table a workbench. And like the poppy is a rose. So I get confused switching back and forth. Alright, so you can do that for an easy light source. It's above your head. You have your crafting table. You could even go higher if you wanted to, but this gives the torches a little bit more space, and that's plenty of light for the inside of this house. Alright, so we need a bed, and we need chests. Um, we'll save that. Okay, let's see. This time, let's put the bed there. And yeah, you can still sleep. I wanted to test that, put that over the bed like that. Okay. And then you could do a trap chest. We have all the torches we need. Trap chest right there. And right there. And let's give this shelf some support.
don't know. If that ch if that shelf comes down with you sleeping underneath it, that might be a little uncomfortable. Let's go ahead and let's put the bed here for now. We may come up with a better place later. Then let's put a couple of furnaces in here. three so you have one two three four you have the equivalent of five you could even go up since we use the uh, oh no that's blocks why is that blocks I thought we used slabs did we not use slabs Oh, that's from the roof. Okay. Now that opens. Let's make sure this one is a slab. Yeah. And we could even put another chest here. Okay, so that gives you six, seven and a half if you're counting the large chests. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 regular sized chests worth of storage in this very small area. You could even put, uh, let's see, what can we use? Let's go with oak. Oh, let's go with birch. go with birch and we'll use the birch fence post mm. many different woods. That works. Or you know you could always use carpet. That only takes two blocks of wool give it some color uh, well we'll just use white whites pretty easy to come up with okay so we have a little table and chairs you have your storage area you have your crafting table you have furnaces you have your bed um, oh but if we use that we can't put anything on it so let's do this let's put that there and really don't like that bed like that put the bed here that way the sun can shine in your face and make you get up in the morning if you have enough iron you could go with, you could make some cauldrons pretty simply. And oak leaves are easy to find. Birch leaves are easy to find in a regular forest. So we're going to put some bushes in here. Actually, let's do this differently. Let's do this differently. I've 
put my cauldrons up. cauldrons there. There we go. So you have some color and you have storage, you have furnaces, you have your bed, you have a little table to sit down, crafting table. You have plenty of light for this room. We even put light in the ceiling. This is a lot of storage for this little bitty room. And, you know, if you wanted, you could even you could even put your mine shaft down here. This could be, you know, all in one. You have your mine shaft, you have your storage, you have your furnaces for smelting. You have all the basics you need and you even have some plants in here. So, we're going to go ahead and let's throw some flowers in here. Let's, uh, let's do some azure blue it's this time actually we need color let's do some color let's do some red tulips that'll bring some color inside the house as well let's stop that Yeah, so that gives us some color inside the house. Plus, you can enjoy the neighbor's yard. And the next episode, we will fix up this yard. So anyway, there we have it. Oh, we forgot to name it. This is a field stone house, I believe, is what it's called. Isn't that what we did? Classic houses. Field stone house, yes. Okay, so we need our little sign. Fieldstone Ultima Online. Actually, let's... Let's give it some kind of... Uh, sign all right so there's our little house and hopefully that didn't take very long it's very simple it's very basic but it's cute it's practical we have a mine shaft we have all kinds of storage we have our bed we have lighting we have crafting table we have three furnaces we even have bushes in the house and color coming in from the window planters so <coughs> that, that was pretty easy and quick and again, you can use whatever wood is handy. It doesn't have to be spruce. doesn't have to be dark oak. It could be oak, birch, whatever you need. So, or if you started in a savanna, use acacia. That, that would be pretty too. But right now, we're going with materials that resemble the UO houses primarily. So, we will come back and do the yard real quick. And we will see you later.